exactly what I was looking for. Little sailboats all over it. Alright, I'm gonna save one of my favorite items to the end. He looks drunk, which he probably is. Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and I thought I would take a break from our vacation vlogs. I have been sharing our recent vacation to Cape Cod and Nantucket this past week, and I have a couple more vlogs to share, but I thought I'd pop this one kind of in the middle and share with you a haul of some antiques and thrifted items that we picked up while we were on vacation. My husband and I love to thrift. He honestly might love it more than I do. In the vlogs, I mentioned going to these places, but I didn't get a chance to show all the items because some things got packed up and I didn't want to unpack them or I just didn't have a chance to film it. Today's video is in partnership with ButcherBox and I will share more on them in a little bit. This set of dishes we found, or I found, while we were on Nantucket, they have this hospital thrift store that we had been to years past, and it, it was packed. There were so many people there. We were there right before closing, so I honestly don't even know how these dishes were still there for me to find, but I guess it was just meant to be. This is a vintage set of Delph pottery from England in this beautiful nautical windmill print. So this set of five was $20. So I thought that was a great deal. And honestly, to me, this is such a better souvenir than say a fridge magnet or a spoon or something. You know, this is something that we can actually use and interact with and still remember that special trip that we went on. And we actually do plan to use them. It is our 16 year wedding anniversary coming up soon and we're gonna do a date night in, which is just something we enjoy doing. So we actually are partnering with Butcher Box on this video. We have partnered with them in the past and they just have such high quality meat, which we really appreciate. It is something that we really value in our household. 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, crate free pork, humanely raised and wild caught seafood. They have a couple different box bundles that you can choose from or you can create a custom box. So definitely check out Butcher Box through the weekend. They actually have a really great deal that new members receive a free grilling bundle. You get two 10 ounce ribeye steaks, five pounds of chicken drumsticks, and a pack of burgers for free in your first order. Everything is packaged so perfectly. It all stays, you know, flash frozen. It checks all the boxes for us. It is high quality. It's delicious. It is sustainably sourced. It is shipped to our door. It's easy to order. I mean, it is just like a win all around for our family. So I thought I'd show you what we got. Grass-fed flat iron steaks grass-fed ground bison, which I, I think I've only had a couple times in my life, so I'm excited to try that. Boneless beef chuck roast, wild-caught sockeye salmon. We don't cook a ton of fish in our house, but my husband and I really love fish, and we're trying to get the kids to appreciate it as well, so I'm excited about this one. Ribeye steaks, organic chicken drumsticks, all perfectly portioned. This is part of the grilling bundle. Grass-fed and grass-finished beef patties, so this is going to be absolutely perfect for throwing on the grill this summer. And one of my daughter's absolute favorites is the St. Louis ribs. If you ask her what her favorite meal is, she will always say ribs. So we're doing the flat iron steaks for date night tonight. I made some chimichurri. And just to touch on like the value that you're getting, the custom box is $169 a month. It breaks down to about $5, $5.50 per meal. And I mean, easily having a steak dinner at home is going to save you I mean, this meal alone could be $100 at a restaurant. Like we won't have like a big personal steak per person when we're doing just an everyday weekday meal. We'll use meat more as like a flavoring, like add it in with other things and that really stretches it out. So whether it's everyday meals for your family or a special date night in, it's a great value. I have the table set with our beautiful new Delph pottery and salads are also on that as well, I'm just waiting for the meat to rest and then we will plate everything up. 
One thing I was really hoping to find at this big antique center that we went to, it honestly was overwhelming how much stuff was there, but they had a ton of vintage postcards and I was really hoping to find a Nantucket one. I was really looking for something black and white, kind of subtle, and so honestly, like in the last stack, I found this vintage postcard of Main Street Nantucket and it says it on the photo, and it's just a beautiful, it's just a reproduction print. It's not like it's, you know, it's a postcard, but I thought it was so perfect. It really was like in the last 10 minutes that we were there that I found it. And I'm going to pop it in a frame and put it up in the house. I'm honestly not sure how much it was. Oh, I think maybe it was $5, which is a little pricey for a postcard. But again, it's exactly what I was looking for. So I was able to find another piece of artwork at that antique center as well. It says the George Inn, and it just kind of reminds me of the charming towns that we saw on Nantucket. And again, it was already framed, and I think this was 25, so a little pricier than like thrift store prices. But again, the you know I got the art, I got the matting, and the frame. It's all finished. All I have to do is put it on the wall. So to me, that's a great value. I also picked up this little antique um, teacup, I guess. And this is, what does it say on the bottom? It's Royal Dalton. I don't know how old it is, if it really is an antique, but it's just this little, to me, he looks like a little sailor, a little, you know, sea captain. I was gonna put a little, maybe velvet, red velvet string on it and hang it as an ornament on our Christmas tree. So that, again, it's just a really sweet souvenir. Dan says he looks drunk, which he, probably is, but I still think that he's pretty cute. He's got his little scarf tied. So heading back to the hospital thrift store, I'm kind of popping around here, but I did find this set of flag hooks and they were all wrapped up together. This was $10 and it just really caught my eye, obviously because it was kind of nautical, but also that there were four of them and I have four children. So I loved that each of the flags were a little bit different and then they say one, two, three, four. And I just thought we could hang these somewhere, I'm not quite sure where, in their bedrooms or in our sunroom or something like that. And then just have a little spot for them to, you know, hang something of theirs. So I think this was the last thing I got from the hospital thrift store. And it's a book called Grandpa's Tale, Sconset from a Bird's Eye View. And Sconset is that little coastal town that we went to that was just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not sure if it was written by a local. I'm gonna kind of assume it was, but I could be wrong. And I think that was only like $2. All right, back to a couple ornaments that I picked up. I collect different themed ornaments for each of my children. And to be honest, my plan was to do like one a year, but it's just when you thrift, you never know when you're gonna find something. And I don't know, I've kind of lost track of how many each of them have. They probably have more than one per, per year of their life, but that's okay. They'll just have a collection when they when they move out of here. So I found this little stained glass bell for one of my daughters. She gets bells. And then for one of my sons, he gets drums. So I got this one. It has little drumsticks. It's actually really hard to find drum ornaments. You know, they had two. I probably should have grabbed both, but it's okay. He has one. And then for my other daughter, she gets nutcrackers, but it has kind of expanded into just the, the nutcracker themed because she has like a Clara ornament and she has some nutcrackers. So I found this one, he's like the rat king and you pull the string and he fights. And I just thought it was too adorable to leave behind. He does have a little bit of mending that needs to be done. His foot is kind of coming off so I can just glue that down. And again, I don't know how much this was. I don't even think it's really antique, but it's sweet. And then I also lastly found this ornament and I forget how much it was. I, again, don't know if it's really all that old, but it just has little sailboats all over it. And I thought, how perfect is that? I will probably remove this gold string and put on again, like a red velvet one, but I thought that was perfect. So we did also go to a children's like science center museum and this is not vintage but i did pick up an art print i thought i would just pop it in here this is actually called sperm whale nantucket and it's an original original watercolor by karen tyndall 
and I just thought that was so beautifully done and something that, again, I can pop into a frame. All right, I'm gonna save one of my favorite items to the end, so stay tuned. But we did go to just a regular thrift store. I think it was either a Salvation Army or a Goodwill or something like that. So my daughter found this sweatshirt. I think it's a Cat and Jack, yeah. I think I've seen this pattern before with the pandas and the air balloons. So she picked that out and she absolutely loved it. And then I found a pair of pants for my son. And these are, of course, if you know, Nantucket Reds. They're not, you know, Nantucket brand or anything. They're just children's place, but they were $1.99 and he could just use some kind of dress pants like for church or just, I don't know, honestly, he could wear these anytime and the color was perfect. And then lastly for the kids, or my daughter, I found this pair of boots. They were brand new, never worn. They still have the stuffing in the toes and the brand is Ositos. I don't know, never heard of that brand. Maybe it's just an Amazon thing, but they were in her size. They were $2.99, you cannot beat that. And they will be absolutely perfect come this fall. Just tuck them away and she loved them. So can't beat that. One more item that I thrifted that I forgot to mention was this really sweet bench. I got it, I think at that same Salvation Army thrift store. It was $9.99 and I loved the spindle shape of it. We have it all over our house. So we brought that home and I took off the bench seat and I'm going to recover that. And then I want to strip down the paint off of this. It's like a yellow color and I just want it to be bare wood. So I'm currently working on stripping that. It's not done yet. It's gonna take me a little while to clean each spool, but that was another thing that I picked up. Okay, are you ready for my last item or items? It's a little bit of a wild card item. And my husband was like, really, you're gonna get that? And I was like, Yes, I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna show you my inspiration. And once I showed it to him, he said, okay, I can see where you're going with this. So let me show you what I got. I found a true vintage wool plaid Pendleton blazer and matching skirt. Now, I do not plan to wear them both together, but separately, I was, I could not leave it there. I did a clothing swap a few months ago back with Kristen Hoffman and I mentioned that this was one of my inspiration photos was a wool plaid skirt with like a really nice black turtleneck and it's just a chic you know kind of holiday look and from then on I've been looking for a wool skirt and how much was this set let's see $13 and it is young Pendleton but it kind of fit me perfectly I have short arms and legs so this actually, the jacket was like perfectly tailored to my wrists and I mean, it was so perfect. I couldn't pass it up. I'll show you the skirt on, obviously. I would wear it with a different kind of turtleneck and maybe some black tights like in that inspiration photo, but I just was so thrilled. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe. And I will also put a link to the Nantucket and Cape Cod vlogs that I have been sharing and talking about in this video if you wanna go back and check those out as well. Be sure to also check out Butcher Box. I'll put a link in the description box down below. Again, that offer of the grilling bundle is through this week. New members receive two free ribeye steaks chicken drumsticks and a pack of burgers for free in your first order with free shipping thank you so much for watching and i'll be talking to you soon take care guys